indeed it is a Christian voice in your home. Dear listener and friend of Radio Maria Kenya Nairobi, welcome to the promotion show with me here, Lily the Game Changer. I always come here every Tuesday to speak about generosity and to speak about, uh, uh, about Radio Maria and what it stands for so that we may understand well about Radio Maria. believe in divine providence for your life and just to start with radio maria from birth of this radio its aim has been to help the church in the work of evangelization yes and that is why the radio will always evangelize and to do so in its own way that is with closeness and concern to those people who need help, who need hope, who need to learn how to pray, who need to get close to Jesus Christ, who need to be converted. And so it is a radio with a mission to evangelize. It is set apart to evangelize. And so one would ask, how then does the radio uh, proceed or operate without what we call advertisements? advertisements? Because the radio does not allow or advertisements or any other form of um, funding apart from depending entirely on you, the listener and friend of Radio Maria. One would ask, and we've received so many questions concerning this, that how then will the radio operate without making advance like via advertisement, contraceptives, advertisement on a, a certain brand of water, a certain brand of uh, beef fridge or soda. We do not have such. For sure, the radio relies on divine providence, in carrying on its intention of evangelization. And so I would read one of the statements that was written or said or mentioned by Pope Francis on his message to the Radio Maria family. And this is what the Pope said. In carrying your intention forward, you have trusted divine providence, which has never made you lack the means for your daily needs. That is Pope Francis addressing Radio Maria, a world family. He is aware that the radio de believes or depends on divine providence. And so we would ask ourselves, what is this? It is this act of believing or trusting in the Lord that things will be okay, that things will work out. And my dear friend and listener, even as you work, as you wake up every morning going to that contract that you've signed in that big, huge company or that business of yours which is standing strongly, you can never do it without divine providence. When you close your business in the evening and go back home, who takes care of it? Yes? When you're working and you retire in the evening and go back home, who knows whether the following day you will get to your office and the doors will be opened for you, that you will click on the <laughs> that button and the door will be opened for you to enter. Who knows that when you leave the company, it will not set on fire and the following day you'll be there wondering how many people have closed their businesses in the evening so well and the following day they get there and the only news they get is that the business or the building is on fire. Divine providence. 
that even in that work of yours or business of yours or family of yours, were it not for divine providence that we trust in, we cannot stand. And so divine providence does not mean that we just sit, relax, enjoy, and wait for things to work themselves out in a certain miraculous way. Yes, there are miracles from God, but in this divine providence, we have to wake up and do something. We have to wake up and work. But we trust that in whatever work we do, the Lord is going to bless this good work. In fact, the book of Luke chapter 12 verse 31 says, Seek God's kingdom and these other things will be given you besides. I mean, work well done is blessed by God. And so Radio Maria has always trusted and believed in divine providence. That after work well done, and how, how, what is this work? When we come to your parish and join you for prayers, when we call you and join you for family rosary, when we walk around, uh, right now we have the COVID situation, but Radio Maria is supposed to visit the prisoners. It's supposed to visit children's homes. Nyumba za waze, your jumuiyas right in your parish. Of course, there's this limitation now, but that is what Radio Maria is all about. And we have been moving around in all parish, in most of the parishes. Whenever they are celebrating their family days, we pray with you. We stream live masses. We call friends of Radio Maria to pray with them and especially with the family rosary, which is very important. That is work well done. And so we believe that after this work is well done, then you, friend and listener of Radio Maria Kenya Nairobi will not hesitate to support the radio.